Welcome back to Big Brother. Please make some noise for our third evicted housemate. It's Isaac! Yeah. The, the, uh, it's not a word, but I'm going to use it anyway. The guttedness on your face mm. is quite apparent. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, like, well, I thought... When I went in, I was saying, if I last to the second week, I'll be happy. And then come to the, come to the third week, I was saying, if I last to the fourth, I'll be happy. Yeah. But it is what it is, Does isn't it? Does it get addictive when you're in there? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like, the, the closer it came to tonight, like, the more getting used to it I was, the more yeah. closer I was to, like, yeah. I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking from walking down there. Like. You had a great reception, though. Yeah. I know you didn't really hear I it, did you? Because it's like a rabbit in headlights when you come yeah, out of that house. But me. all cheers. Mm. So you don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, thank you, everyone. I know it's still <laughs> gutting. It doesn't help that you're not in there. No. Um, talking of gutting, every single housemate is crying. Yeah. Well. What an impression you've had. I left my mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many noms do you think you got this week? I reckon a good five. I feel like I'm an easy target, though, for them. Why? Why do you think you're an easy target? Because like this whole alpha male business, like yeah. if someone's got if someone's got an opinion there, yeah. then they might say a little bit and then go and bitch about it a bit. But I'll yeah. just I'll just say it and it's normally yeah. over and done with in a couple of sentences. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're associating with Lewis with G. With Lewis maybe? as well, and obviously he was like he was a scapegoat for everyone to vote for, was not he? So and like that guilty by association. So you said five, but there was mm. four. Yeah. K as well. Yeah. Uh, nominated you. So let's just pick up on a few of them. Mm. Lewis F. Mm. What what did you think of his comments? Well, you had quite an odd relationship with him, didn't you? Yeah. Well, he's well smiley in my face, but no, well, I'd swear. We've been watching you all swear for weeks. Um, as well. <laughs> well, I didn't. I don't know. Just his face expressions when he was speaking them is a bit like. I don't know. I was a bit he surprised by that to, one. He seems to kind of. Um, the diary room is where he kind of vents a lot, isn't it? It's kind of mm. where he gets his frustrations out. I think he, he, he tries to kind of manage himself in the house, but the diary room, he, he mm. really kind of lets it out a little bit. Mm. To say I've got no manners, though, that's a bit mad. Yeah. I understand like, the point they're making, like, when I was in the garden. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just well competitive. And, like, you are really competitive, I am, aren't I know, you? I hate... And you, you, can't, you could really see, you know, it really pissed <laughs> you off. But once... <laughs> Once I've got out what I've got to say, and like, if I have yeah. been about of order, I'm so quick to realise and say sorry. Like, if you, yeah. you probably would have seen. Yeah. Like, I think I think one of the things that probably stood out as well, and, and one of the things that a couple of the housemates said was the fact that kind of Akeem was targeted when when he had the money, and it felt like that was it was okay for everybody to do it to him, but when it was you, it was like, no, that is not cool. Say that again, sorry, say that so, again, So, you know sorry. when Akeem had lots of money yeah. and it, it kind of felt like it was all right if people were going to take his money, mm. but then when it was you that had the money taken, mm. that's when you weren't happy. It was just the amount. Because of Mr. I felt like, I felt, Yeah, that as well. But it just felt like, I just felt targeted. I don't know, maybe it is a bit hypocritical of me, but when you're in there, I don't know, the emotions are high and I don't know. Like... I think what, what I noticed as well, you were so excited about being at the top of that leaderboard, mm. yet you just weren't there for very long, weren't you? Yeah, that was Did a bit you annoying. kind of feel like you would have a little bit more power than you actually got? Yeah, I was to there have. for two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> I weren't happy about that at all, I won't lie. Well, how was the whole experience for you? Um, I can't describe, like, it was mad. Like, ups, downs, like, I've laughed, I've cried, yeah. like, everything. Everything. Right. Was it as you expected? Yeah, and more. But I didn't think I'd, I didn't think I'd be making such good friendships and close bonds right. with certain people. Like, there's people in there who I never thought, on the outside world, I wouldn't even really have a conversation with. And then people, yeah. like, people like Thomas, for example. Like, I'm good friends with him now, do you know what I mean? That relationship has been fascinating to watch. Mm. Um, you have become really close, haven't you? Mm. And, and he's someone, as well, I think, that's very open about his gameplay. This mm. series, you know, it is, it's a competitive series, and it's probably the perfect one for you because you are such a competitive person. Mm. Um, is that something that drew you to him? I don't think that so much, but it was more like his story and where he's come from and stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, like the fact that he trusted me to tell me it and then... Yeah. I don't know, like, I just think he's a nice guy as well, do you know what I mean? He does get, like, a lot of... I don't know, like, I don't know. He's... I don't know. Yeah. Um, you had a couple of run-ins in there. Mm. When we kind of see you get a little bit hot under the collar. Yeah. Is that... You do you kind of do you do you lose it easily? Not to a big extent. We haven't seen you like go nuts. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. There's, there's nothing like that. Or is it the environment that you're in? I think it's a bit of both. You know, like I can be quick to snap, 
like even like my family would tell you like I'm quick to snap, but yeah, I feel bad straight. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like even like, over over something stupid, over yeah. something stupid, but then I feel twice as bad after, and then I'm feeling apologetic. Like I don't know if you've seen about with um, with Kennedy. Yes, on the plane. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. <sighs> That, that was that was well out of order. I, shouldn't, I, shouldn't I think we didn't like expect that. you to react like that, but also we didn't expect Kennelly oh, yeah, to get so upset. Yeah. And the minute she started crying, you could see in your face mm. how you were a bit like, oh God, you know, I, I really wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't. And even when I'd apologised, even like half an hour later, I was still feeling bad and like, I thought, I felt like I had so much more explaining to do and she was yeah. so all right with it. I think that made me feel a bit worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That she didn't just kind of, yeah. it's because she needed to pee. <laughs> uh, listen, I've got your bag of coins here. Yeah. 501. You've gathered what's happening by now, yeah. right? So you can get to donate it to any housemate you want. Mm. You don't have to, and you can't split it. Yeah. You were donated them last week by Lewis. Would you like to give them to anybody? Yeah. Who? Thomas. Oh, he's, he's gonna the boy, love isn't he? you. I'm giving it to Tom. He's going to be top of the board again, probably. Yeah. That's a nice amount of coins to get.